presented by Church Tech U. It's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, how to use scrolling text in Pro Presenter 7.6 and newer. Hi, and welcome again to the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show where I help you learn all about Pro Presenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. And before we get started, if you're excited to have even more flexibility with scrolling text in ProPresenter 7 than you did in ProPresenter 6, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and leave a comment below. I think I already gave it away. This is better than it was in, uh, in ProPresenter 6, so it's worth the wait. One thing I personally love about this is I no longer have to answer the question, well, why, why doesn't scrolling text work? Because it does, in fact, work. And it works better than it did in 7.6. And I think that's why it was a little... It works better than it did in ProPresenter 6, rather. And I think that's why it was delayed. That it didn't ship with ProPresenter 7, not 7.1, etc., they were working on it to make it the best that it could be. So let's head over to my computer and I'll show you exactly uh, what it does and some of the cool things you can do with it. So here we are in uh, ProPresenter 7.6. Reminder, you need ProPresenter 7.6 or newer for this to work. So if you're on 7.4 or 7.2 or whatever, if it's less than 7.6, it will not work. Don't give me angry comments. I'm just telling you about it. Okay, so 7.6. Uh, one thing that I've told people that I, I'm going to tend to do is I'm going to tend to want to do most of these things through themes in the theme editor. So let's click on this little ellipsis icon at the top and select theme editor. Now the reason for that is I'm going to want to apply this to different text. So I've got a few of these that I've already made and let me show you what those do. So this is just a regular text box for uh, worship and then in this I have linked the text so if we click on that and go to text, I've linked the text to the current slide text. So it's actually showing the exact same thing, but it's scrolling. Which direction? From bottom to top, right here. Uh, it starts in the uh, text box already, so that's what I'm not automatic means. The other choice is off screen. If I select off screen, it actually isn't off screen. It is off of the text box. So it starts down here where it doesn't show and then it scrolls up. So if I was scrolling it from over here, we wouldn't have to wait all this time for it to finally appear here. It would uh, start right here and almost immediately show there. So that's why that's a little bit different. Uh, speed is, here I'm going to change that back to automatic. Speed, it defaults to like 50%. I came really close with that one. But I like it a little slower, especially in this case. So that's what this is. Feathering indicates uh, from the direction that it's coming in and then going out of, will it fade off? or fade in um, and so that's what that is notice that when I click on this it changes on both ends and notice since I'm going from bottom to top it shows top and bottom if I were going from right to left which is what you typically do if you're using a uh, Germanic or a romance language like uh, Spanish, French, Portuguese, or Germanic languages like English, German, etc., then they go left to right, so you want the first letter to show up first. So typically you would do that, unless you had very good artistic reasons not to. Uh, if you were doing Hebrew or Arabic, then maybe you would do uh, the opposite direction right there. 
So I'm going to go back to that. Notice that when I change it, it if it's left to right or right to left, left and right are here. If I change it to an up and down or a down and up, top and bottom are here. If I change one end, the other changes. If I need to change just one end, there's a link button right here I can click. Now I have the ability to change just one of the directions at a time. And if I want to go back, it's a little difficult to find it, but there it is. Repeat, that just means the text repeats. Doesn't have to, you can uncheck it and it'll only show up one time. Distance is how much space between the things that uh, it has, so I can um, say 200 pixels, for example, or I can leave it at the 100, which is what it had, and then I'm good to go. Now, in a, I mentioned this earlier that I had uh, an additional thing. This was in an earlier tutorial, and that's line transformation. The reason that I've applied this here is if I left it at none and started this, this would have all the text that's the same text here on the side, and I don't want that. Instead, I want one word at a time, um, one word per line. I could also do one letter, one character per line, and in fact, let me do that. So that's a cool thing here. So let's go back into show, and I'm going to um, go ahead um, and change the theme on this one let's say see right there that's an alternate theme let me remove that here and I'm gonna go select theme scrolling text and let's do this first one so now if I do this notice how it has the words coming up just one letter at a time just kind of as a background element. Uh, I could add a motion background underneath it and it just continues to go. One thing that I'd suggest is you're probably going to want to use a uh, dissolve here when you go between those so that it's less abrupt than if you did just a cut and see how that is a little more abrupt than maybe you want it to be. And um, so that's one of the ways you could do it. You could also do like a message. So I could do, let's see, today is not June 29th. Today is July 6th. So I could show this using a different template that I've created and that template uh, scrolls it from right to left along the bottom so let me go ahead and show that and we might actually need to select an output yeah so this particular output has the messages enabled um, which it's kind of important, so I can do that there. I could also add a prop. So I've got one down here that I've created which has one in it, and that's showing up at the top up here. And notice that it has all the different tutorials of ProPresenter because this came from my website. So if I go here. This is my RSS feed. Notice that it's text. It's a little difficult to read, but this is in fact generated automatically by my website, trinitydigitalmedia.com. So I just copied that. Um, I could just as easily gotten an RSS feed of weather, 
for example, from weather.gov. Um, copy that, and now if I go into the props editor, let's go ahead and we're going to edit this prop. You can see that what I did here was I just put it up here as a text box. I filled this with the color and under text I chose linked text and chose RSS feed down here at the bottom and then I pasted that in. Notice that when you paste this in it does like chunks of it so when you first paste it in you might see it just shows the last little bit of it and you might be utterly confused just click in it and uh, scroll to the left with your arrow keys just to double check that everything pasted correctly. Title and description, that's fine. And down here for delimiter, this is like what do I want in between loops of this. So in this case I just put a couple of backslashes and a couple of spaces so that was in there or I could not have anything or I could have one of these or you know, just whatever I want put in between this. So that's how I did that. So with scrolling text, I have all kinds of options. I can do the scrolling text just for visual appeal. I can have an RSS feed like I have up here. I can have a message like it's down here. And I can just create different looks of the scrolling text depending on what I need in my particular situation. So that's how you use scrolling text in ProPresenter 7.6. If you like this content, I bet you'd like my ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course. So in order to get it for free, just go to tdm.fyi slash pro7quick, Q-U-I-C-K, and uh, put in your name and a good email address so that I can send you the login to that free course at that email address. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.